to hear now, wow, all of a sudden it just got real foggy out there. Yeah. It kind sure crazy. did. Yeah, the areas of fog have been slowly developing along coastal areas, and now it's just inundated Portland just within the last few minutes here, or last half hour, I should say. This is a lookout now from our east side exchange camera, and you can just see uh, the fog. Pretty thick here. In fact, at the Portland airport, the visibility is last reported at one eighth of a mile visibility. So uh, that's been slowly going down. And then uh, we're at 41 degrees. The winds are calm. And so we're not going to see much wind really to get rid of it. Here's another look from one of our cameras, our tower cams. And take a look at that. Very, very tough to see uh, because of how thick the fog is. The fog extends uh, west of here back to the coast. Very dense fog in place for Astoria. And so uh, for these coastal areas into uh, Northwest portions of Oregon, Southwest Washington, we have dense fog advisories in effect. So that includes up near Scappoos, out towards uh, Kelso, Astoria, and for Portland, we have those advisories in effect until 10 a.m. tomorrow. So your commute tomorrow morning, it's going to be a tough one. You're going to be battling low visibility, so that means everyone's going to be driving slower. You'll definitely want to check in tomorrow morning to see what these visibilities look like as we could see them continue to drop as things stay very, very still tonight. Overnight lows eventually down into the mid 30s with, again, areas of fog developing throughout the Willamette Valley. And then tomorrow morning, we'll wake up 7 a.m., 37, likely areas of dense fog around. Once we get through about 9, 10 a.m., we're going to start to see it break up a bit. And then we're watching for sunshine here. It'll be a beautiful wrap up to the afternoon with highs getting into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. So, high pressure controlling our weather now as keeping things very still. We need the winds to mix that air up to get the uh, dense fog out. And right now, we're just not going to have that because of that high pressure system there. Now, as we go through the day, that will help things out a bit. Uh, as far as the next chance for rain, this low pressure system here is heading east. So that keeps the rain to our north. And then the next rain maker, way back out here in the Pacific, that doesn't arrive until Thursday. So, we have some dry weather over the next few days and we're going to have to deal with that fog that moves in overnight too. Temperature wise out there 36 in Hood River. The Dow's at 40. We're in the 20s out across far eastern Oregon. Low to mid 40s up and down the valley. And then tomorrow we top out in the low to mid 50s for coastal areas. Uh, mostly sunny skies once we get through that foggy start, especially towards the northern end of the coast. And we'll top out in the low to mid 50s thanks to the light offshore breeze that'll pick up a little bit through the day tomorrow. I 5 highs in the upper 40s, fog in the morning, and then it may be slow to break up in spots. So we'll try to watch that break up. And then we'll get some sunshine going. A central and eastern Oregon, mostly sunny skies with temperatures topping out in the low to mid 40s. Uh, for the Cascades, you'll get up above the fog. If you want to go skiing, we did get a little bit more snow today and then between today and yesterday. Anywhere from three to six inches at our ski resorts. So bluebird skies tomorrow. We had a nice one for that through the gorge. Partly sunny. It'll take a little while to get those low clouds out of here. And then for Portland, highs right around 50 for us with that fog around in the morning. But then for the afternoon, it clears out to allow for some sunshine. Should be a really pretty afternoon. Same thing Wednesday. And then Thursday, the clouds roll in with the rain chances going up now, by Thursday. Kristen, night. let's look at that Saturday and Sunday. 54 mm -hmm. and 56. I mean, that's close to 60 degrees in January. Yeah, we're looking at a big ridge of high pressure moving back in. And that one's going <laughs> okay. to mean heat for us. Well, heat for this time of yeah. year because it's going to be so. So much above yes. average. I mean, it's almost like springtime temperatures in January. You know, we need the cold stuff. Hopefully, come February, we can finally get the real winter <laughs> back, right? right? Hitting our hopes on that. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.